Hey there, friends. It's James here, back with another video on the channel. And let me tell you, if you've ever found yourself waiting ages for those hefty files to render or just struggling to make edits on large video files, then, oh boy, do I have some sweet picks for you today. So we all know that editing large video files can be quite the headache, right? Your computer starts to act like it's running a marathon. Things crash. It's just a mess. But fear not, because today I'm going to share with you some of the best video editing software for those big old files that will hopefully make your life way easier. Before we jump in, just want to uh, uh, remind you all that if any of these programs pique your interest, mm -hmm. and I have a hunch, they will, you'll find all the links you need in the description down below. And hey, while you're there, why not smash that like button if you find this video helpful? All right, let's dive right in and see which of these bad boys can handle the challenge of large files without breaking a sweat. Stay tuned. Okay, so um, when it comes to editing large files, you know, those hefty 4K or even um, 8K videos, Adobe Premiere Pro is actually a powerhouse that, quite frankly, can handle a ton of um, data without breaking a sweat. Now, one of the things I really like about Premiere Pro is um, its robust set of features that cater to, well, professionals and, you know, even some enthusiasts who are looking to get the most out of their editing software. There's like this smooth um, workflow that Adobe's nailed pretty well with their, you know, integration of uh, Adobe Sensei. That's their A, right? It helps so much with automation of tasks such as um, auto reframing for different aspect ratios, which uh, if you're working with large files can save you a ton of time and well headaches. Plus there's the new um, scene edit detection feature, which is super handy for, you know, locating cuts and transitions without you having to scrub through the timeline forever. But um, Let's not sugarcoat it, okay? Premiere Pro does require a pretty uh, beefy computer system to run smoothly, especially when you're dealing with those larger files. Rendering can take for you quite a while if your system isn't up to par, but on the flip side, um, if you've got the right hardware, you'll be zipping through edits like it's nothing. This is thanks to Premiere Pro's um, support for you know GPU uh, acceleration, which is honestly a lifesaver. Now, for anyone thinking um, about whether the subscription model is, you know, worth it, because Adobe Premiere Pro is not uh, cheap, you've got to weigh the ongoing updates and um, cloud services against uh, the upfront cost of, you know, alternative software. But in summary, for large file handling and like professional grade editing, Premiere Pro is um, pretty hard to beat, although you've got to be prepared for, let's say, a bit of an investment, both in the software itself and potentially some um, hardware upgrades. So um, let's dive right in and talk about Fillmore Pro, which is, you know, a pretty nifty piece of software. If you're dealing with large video files, the first thing you'll notice when you open up Fillmore Pro is that it's got a pretty clean interface. It's not too intimidating, which is great for both beginners and um, intermediate users. But don't let that simplicity fool you because under the hood, there's a ton of powerful features that are perfect for editing large files. Now, when it comes to performance, Fillmore App Pro really shines. I've thrown some hefty files at it and it manages to scrub through 4K footage pretty smoothly. And you know, that's crucial when you're trying to get precise edits. It also has a proxy workflow feature, which um, basically allows you to work with lower resolution versions of your video for editing. And then you can switch back to full resolution when you're ready to export. This really helps to avoid lag and makes the editing process a lot smoother. Let's uh, talk about the range of tools available. So Fillmore Appro comes packed with like advanced color correction, audio mixer, and um, a bunch of visual effects that can really enhance your videos. And, you know, having these tools in one place means you don't need to jump between different programs, which can be a real pain when you're working with big files. Plus, they've got this feature where you can directly upload your finished videos to YouTube, which for someone like me is super handy. Finally, um, there's the question of value for money. And I got to say, Fillmore Appro hits a sweet spot. It's not free, but it's also not going to break the bank. And when you consider the amount of features packed into this software, I'd say it's well worth the investment. Overall, it's a really solid option for editing large video files. It balances power and simplicity, and that makes it, you know, one of my top picks for video editors out there. All right, um, let's talk about DaVinci Resolve, especially since a lot of you have been wondering at what kind of editor you should be using if you're dealing with, like, really large files and it can be a kind of daunting task. So the thing with DaVinci Resolve is it's incredibly powerful and it's amazing 
for handling big projects, which, um, you know, could have a ton of high res footage or complex color grading. It's probably, and I'm not kidding here, one of the best free tools you can get your hands on. And the fact that there's a free version is just like mind blowing to me. Now, when you jump into it, you might find the interface a little intimidating um, just because of all the features packed in there. But once you, you know, start messing around with it, you'll find that it's super intuitive. It handles large files pretty smoothly and the rendering speed. Guys, it's top notch. It's like if you got the right hardware to back it up, you're going to see some really quick render times, um, even with hefty files, which is a huge plus when you're deep into editing and just want to see your work come together fast. Um, also, the color correction tools. They're uh, industry standard. I mean, if color grading is your jam, you're going to love Resolve. It's so like detailed and precise. You can get those colors to look exactly how you want them to. And um, that's really essential when you're working with big projects where the visual quality has to be, you know, just perfect. And let's not forget the audio features because they've like really stepped up their game uh, with the Fairlight audio tools. If you're handling video editing on your own and you need to work on the audio too, it's all integrated. This means you can just jump from editing to color to audio without skipping a beat or like exporting stuff out. It's all right there in one package. So to wrap up, DaVinci Resolve is a heavy hitter for big files. It's solid, professional, and um, with a bit of a learning curve, sure, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so um, let's take a look at Luminar Neo, which is kind of making waves as a photo editor, but let's see how it holds up for, you know, editing large files for videos. Now, the first thing I want to mention is the user interface. It's pretty sleek and, you know, intuitive for beginners or pros alike. Um, you're not going to struggle to find your tools, which is great. Um, diving into performance, which is like super important when you're handling large files. Yeah, Luminar Neo, it's built to handle those high resolution images really well. And from what I've seen, it doesn't really stutter or crash, which, you know, can be a massive headache if you've ever dealt with large files before. And the processing speed, guys, it's pretty decent, even with the um, complex layers and effects you might be adding to your vids. Now, onto the features, because that's where this software kind of sheens. You've got this incredible um, technology, right, that can, for example, replace skies with just a click. And it can relight scenes, which, to be honest, can come in handy for tweaking video thumbnails or if you're trying to maintain a consistent look across, say, a series of videos. Although it's not a dedicated video editor, these features are kind of cool for video content creators um, who might want to spice up their footage. The last thing you should consider is the price. Yeah, so Luminar Neo, it's not the cheapest option out there, um, but it's a one-time purchase, which I think is a huge plus. You're not tied into a subscription, which, let's be honest, is a breath of fresh air. Overall, would I say Luminar, Neo is the best for editing large video files. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, because it's primarily photo-focused, but for certain tasks, it can be super useful and the performance holds up, which is, all right, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right, so uh, when it comes to editing large files, one editor that just, you know, really stands out is Final Cut Pro X. And I mean, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, uh, it's kind of like a no-brainer, right? The software is just, it's optimized for Max like crazy. So uh, working with those hefty 4K files or even like 8K files is just so much smoother. Plus the rendering speeds, they're pretty insane, I must say. Thanks to the metal engine Apple's got in there, it really leverages the hardware to maximize performance. Now, uh, one thing that's super cool about Final Cut is its magnetic timeline. I know it might be a bit daunting at first, especially if you're coming from, say, Premiere Pro or something, but once you get the hang of it, man, it's a game changer. You can move stuff around and everything just sort of snaps and adjusts without, you know, messing up your whole project. And that's pretty neat when you're dealing with big projects with lots of clips. Then there are the organizational tools. Uh, I'm talking about the libraries, the events, the uh, keyword tagging, they're just they're super powerful when you've got tons of footage to, to sift through. These features make it like really easy to keep track of everything. And uh, that's essential, right? Because nobody wants to spend hours just looking for that one clip. Um, and I got to mention the ProRes codec. If you're working with large files, ProRes is your best friend. It gives you this beautiful balance of uh, compression and quality, which means your files are manageable without sacrificing the looks. Plus, Final Cut just handles ProRes so well. It's like, it's buttery smooth and playback and scrubbing, even with the massive files. So 
yeah, in the realm of large file handling, Final Cut Pro X is uh, definitely a beast. All right, guys, we're about to wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. I really hope you found this rundown of the best video editors for handling large files helpful. It can be such a hassle when you're plowing through big projects, so I'm stoked to help you find something that makes your editing process just a little bit smoother. And, and hey, if you're looking to snag any of these products or just want more info, just cruise on down to the description box. I've dropped all the links you need right there. So you can, you know, click away to your heart's content. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Joining our family here means you're in for loads more software reviews. And hey, let's be real. You don't want to miss out on any of that goodness, right? If you've got a question, or maybe you want to share your experience with one of these editors, go ahead and drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys, and I'm pretty dang good at getting back to folks, so fire away with those thoughts and queries. And um, for more content just like this, check out my other videos. There's a bunch of them waiting for you, and who knows, you might just find something that hits the spot. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Keep editing like a boss, folks. Peace out.